let's take a look at a way to add some rough edges to your photo but uh, the tutorial really has more than that there's a few lessons in this one because frankly I've seen tutorials on how to add, add the rough edges to your photos but what I want to show you is all about how to work faster how to work smarter and this method does it in a way that makes it very easy and very simple that once you get a cool edge then you can save it so you can add it to your other photos so you learn how to do that but you also learn some very cool things about brushes here so let's do it to this photo first and what you're going to find is I can't do it to a background layer. I can, but it's not the way that I want to work here. So what I'm going to do is take my background layer here and make it so it's not a background. So just double click on it and you'll see it brings up a new layer dialog and then I'm just going to hit OK and it changes it from background to layer 0. It's not locked anymore, but more importantly I can add a new layer and then I can fill that layer with a color. So I'm going to fill it with black or white, or black or white. Uh, I'm going to fill it with black. And to do that, I set my foreground color to black, and I pressed Alt, Backspace on the PC, Option, Delete on the Mac. So now I have a black layer. I'm just going to drag it below the photo. Now what we do here is we come and most of the most of the flexible methods for adding these rough edges include adding a layer mask and that's the way I'm going to work here so let's add the layer mask and then we're going to go over and select our brush tool here go to the brush picker and instead of choosing one of the brushes that everybody can choose because this is the default brush palette I'm going to go to the little pop out menu here and I'm going to choose let's go for natural brushes 2 and I'll say append. I can replace it, which replaces these, or append them to the end. I'm going to append them to the ends. And then as we look through these brushes, you're going to see that we get a lot of very creative uh, other options when it comes to our brushes. I'm going to choose this one right here. It's a 50 pixel chalk light. And as I put it over the photo, you realize it's way too small. So let's hit the right bracket key. And we can bump that brush size up, make it larger. And then what will happen is, Notice that I have a white layer mask here. If I start to paint on this with black, which my foreground color is set to black, I have a paintbrush, watch what happens. I'll start to show the layer that's below it. That's because that layer is black. All right, so I'm not really painting with black on here. For example, if I were to change this layer to white, see how that changed to white because it's really showing what's below. All right, so let's go and we'll reset that really quick. So what we're going to do is start painting around some edges around our image here and by default I'm not crazy with what this is doing because it doesn't really look like a very cool edge so what you do is go up to your brush picker right at the top of the options bar here go to scattering and you can change your scattering amount here you can go to brush tip shape you can change your spacing make them further apart or closer together All right and now when you start to brush on here now you get a much different more random effect all right and let's just go around the image I'll get the sides over here and take a look at my brush it has a left side and a right side the right side I painted over here kind of put the brush halfway off the canvas and I'm doing the same thing over here on the left hand side and then we'll paint right along the bottom as well we'll just paint right along there. Now if you can't see it, maybe black is a little bit too dark for this, so you can always change that background to white and you can see I get a whole different view. Don't forget to go back to your layer mask and I can paint with black again and just paint away some of these edges around here. All right. So what's cool about this technique is number one it's flexible because should I realize that well I kind of painted a little bit too much. Just hit the X key, and you can just come in here, and you can just paint it right back in. All right, and I went too far down, so now I'll hit X again, and I'll paint it away. So you get a lot of flexibility with this. And don't forget, go up to your brush picker up here and use your scattering options. So at this point, we are done with our edges, but now what we want to do is make it so we can easily add this to another image. So let's do a little trick here. I'm going to alt click on the layer mask. And what that does is it just shows me this layer mask. It's black and white. And then we'll go to select all. 
I'm going to go to my edit menu and choose copy. We'll go back. Alt click on it again to get back to the regular image here. Create a new layer and then go to edit paste and paste that copied image back in. So this is what our mask looked like. Now let's turn it into a brush. Select all. Go to edit. Go down to define brush preset. We'll call it Matt's edge brush. Hit OK. And now look what it does. It creates a brush preset for us. We can look over here inside the brush picker. If you go all the way to the bottom, there it is. That's Matt's edge brush. All right. So what's cool about this is, obviously, I can come back over to my layer mask, and if I were to open up a different photo, let's say, just for sake of argument, this was a different photo, I could come over to my layer mask, I could pick my brush if this were a different photo, I could set it to black, and all I'd have to do is just click and stamp it right on there. Or, let's open another photo. Let's try this photo. So this photo is smaller. All right, You can't even see I could click on here you can't even barely see the edge of the brush so let's go ahead and do the same thing let's just turn this into a layer create another layer here and drag it below and then we'll add our layer mask but remember my brush is too big so I'm gonna hit that left bracket key and I'm gonna make it smaller and smaller alright and now I can come in here and I can stamp that one on but what's even cooler about it is let's say we go to a totally different photo this one is vertical versus horizontal well here's what you do go to your brush options at the top of the options bar under brush tip shape make sure you click right here see this little arrow if I were to click and start to drag this I can turn my brush to a 90 degree angle now you see what it looks like see instead of it instead of it being landscape now it's portrait Alright, so now it's at a 90 degree angle. I got a problem. It still doesn't fit quite right, so I can knock the size down. But it seems that the brush is smaller. See if I knock the size down here a little bit. It kind of fits in the left and the right and the top side, but it doesn't fit on the bottom. Well, what I can do, come back in here and click on one of these endpoints and just scrunch it together just a little bit starts to fit a little bit better let's increase the brush size and you just kinda of play with it a little bit until you get it right and there we go it's pretty darn close at that point so I'm scrunching it together but then I'm making the brush bigger and now what I'm able to do is to get the top and the bottom to fit in here and now if I were to click I can stamp that right on too so there's some really cool lessons inside here not only how to add these edges to your photos but a lot of people don't know that you can come inside of your brush palette and you can turn your brushes around in any angle that you want and that's what makes this technique really useful is the ability to take it and apply it to other photos that maybe weren't the same orientation weren't the same size as the original one that you created it on Oh.